Hello, welcome to this tutorial. We're going to go through and get our Google API key and we're going to get started by going to console.cloud.google.com. You can just Google for Google Console or you can type that in to go ahead. Now I've already got an account here so I'm being logged in straight away. If you don't have a console account or a Google account, then you'll probably get this login screen. From here, you can go ahead and log into any Google account that you have. If you don't have a Google account, you can click create account and create a new Google account and then log into the Google Cloud platform, which is your Google console. It's going to look something like this. The first thing we're going to do is go ahead and create a project and then inside that project we're going to create our API key. So let's go ahead and click from the top menu here my first project. If you've already got a lot of projects you'll have a drop down menu there and you can go ahead and search for your project. We're going to go ahead and create new projects. So I'm clicking new project. I'm going to give it a name. So for this one, it is going to be live review. And this is for my own reference. So you can name it as you like. And I'm just going to go ahead and click create. And now it's going ahead and creating that project for me. And you can see here I'm getting a pop up notice. It's creating the project. It will take a few seconds and then we can go ahead and click select project. It'll take you to the project dashboard and then from here we can open up the side menu and we can go to API APIs and services and we're going to choose credentials. Giving that a click and I'm going to get started by creating credentials. We're going to click create credentials at the top here. Select API key and in a couple of seconds it'll create your API key. You can see it here. You can just click to copy it. Close that and you can also see it here. You can name it if you want for your reference. You can also see here you've got a pencil icon, edit API key. You can go in here and you can secure this API key. And we have some application restrictions. You can come back here after you've got everything working and restrict this key to protect it from other people using it. Now if nobody else has access to this key then this should not be a problem. So let me go back out of here, click in the arrow. Now before we can start using this API key, we need to add an API service relative to what we're going to be using for and we're going to add that service to our project. To do that, we're going to go ahead to the menu here and click on library and we're going to find the places API key which is relevant for the app I'm going to be using this for actually a plugin which is an app and I'm just going to search places and you can see it's filtering through all the different services and if you are getting the API key for a different service you can find that service here I'm just going to go ahead and click to select it and we're going to click enable to enable the API key now while I'm doing this, I am inside of my project here. So it's going to automatically now link this API key to my project. So here I am back inside of my project menu and we have the credentials here. We have the overview for the dashboard and under APIs here now we've got places API. And if I wanted to use this API key for different services, I could just go ahead and add more services. I don't have to create multiple projects. Now the final step to make sure that our API key is going to be working is to link billing to this particular project. Clicking the overview will take me to this API project dashboard and you should find somewhere on this page billing and it says no billing account is associated with this project. So let's go to billing here and have a look. Click link a billing account. And it's just getting a confirmation notice here. Enable billing for project live reviews. I'm going to click create billing account. We can give it a name here. So I'm just going to put my business name here. It's got my country. 
I'm going to go ahead and click continue. And I've got a credit card here on file. I'm happy to use that one. So let's just click submit and enable billing. And that's it. We can now use that API key in our projects and it should be all good and ready to go.